Good morning, scrapbooking friends. Um, for those of you who are with me during the workshop on Sunday, um, you recall that I was trying to remember how to do this magic trick where you can get four, four and a half by six and a half photo mats out of one piece of uh, 12 by 12 paper. It really is kind of magical and it's so darn easy. I wish I could remember the name of the consultant uh, who originally figured this out. I'm sure it was somebody that was really great with um, numbers and spatial design. But anyway, um, I'm working on a vacation album from this past summer and um, I have these two photos that I'd like to mat and I have a piece of 12 by 12 photo mounting paper that, um, you know, I keep calling it photo mounting paper because that's what we called it in the old CM, but it's really called designer paper now. So if you hear me say photo mounting paper, um, that's what I'm talking about. So you're gonna need a piece of 12 by 12 designer paper and you're gonna need your 12 inch trimmer. And so um, what you wanna do is you wanna start out by making this 12 by 12 sheet actually 11 by 11. You have to take an inch off of each edge. So I can do that really easily by lining up the paper edge to the one inch ruler guide and just taking that right off. And then I'm just going to turn that and take another inch off. So now I have a 12 by 12, um, I, I'm sorry, an 11 by 11 inch sheet of designer paper. So then what you wanna do is you wanna line up the edge um, of your paper to the four and a half, this is four and a half uh, guide, and you're gonna clamp it down and um, I know some of you have started to realize that we have this little cutting um, guide. This is gonna help make sure you make the exact correct um, length of a cut. And I put this at seven and a half because our cutting cartridge is two inches um, long and the blade is actually right in the middle at one inch to one inch. So if I put this at seven and a half, that's gonna have the blade cut to six and a half. So you can rewind and go over that again because it took me a little bit of time to figure that out. Um, I'm not always good with, with uh, numbers like that. But so I have my little guide um, with the edge of it um, at seven and a half inches. And now I'm just simply going to bring my cutting, uh, cutting blade down to where it meets and stop. And that gives me a six and a half inch cut down there. So then you take your photo mounting paper or your designer paper and you put it right up again at four and a half here. And you're going to bring your cutting housing up back to the beginning. And now this little plastic thing is stuck up there. So I'm gonna bring it down to the seven and a half again. Um, this is probably the last time I'm gonna to have to do this, but then you'll see why. So now I'm gonna bring down my cutting guide to the seven and a half inch mark, which is gonna give me the six and a half inch cut. So now I have a um, four and a half by six and a half inch mat, perfect for um, giving a beautiful frame around whatever photo I'm gonna use. So then you're gonna to continue to go around um, and alternate sides, but from now on in, you're just gonna bring your blade all the way down because you aren't gonna hit anything. So here's my second four and a half by six and a half. Again, bumping it up to the four and a half inch guide. Let's get that nice and even as possible. And then we're gonna bring that down again. And then we have our fourth one, and you end up with this cute little square that you can use for whatever you want. So that, to me, is like a magic trick because it allows you to get um, these four photo mats, and I'm actually gonna use this side. It let, allows you to get these four photo mats from a single sheet of um, designer paper. 
And um, again, probably the thing that I forgot this weekend that was important was to make sure you cut your two, um, your, your one inch strips off of adjacent sides before you start making the fancy cut. So now I have my four photo mats and I can go ahead and put them behind um, this paper. This paper is actually from the uh, Maritime Pack, which was, I think, two years ago now. Maritime, sort of oceany, beachy pack. And my Fast to Fabulous pages are actually the um, springtime release that we had earlier this year. So I'm gonna mount those two photos on those mats. I still have two more mats to go, but this is nice because it will go with um, some future pages in this album. So I hope you enjoyed learning my magic trick. It's not really my magic trick, but um, the magic trick of cutting four photo mats out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And um, I'm going to post this as much for myself as for all of you because I could not for the life of me remember. I knew it was fairly simple, but I couldn't remember um, how to do it. So hopefully we have this video now and we'll be able to uh, go back to it the next time we want to cut some mats. So I hope you guys are all well. I hope you guys are having a great day and a good week. And I will hopefully talk to you soon. Take care.